Medea is responsible for this curse. I fear it will only get worse. That sorceress is ruthless in a way these people simply do not understand. Those tributes are dear to her. I don't know. But this is precisely why Medea entrusted the Iron Rose with the responsibility for the tribute. The company has never failed to honor a contract. And now the damned speaker has tarnished our reputation. No, the bastard wouldn't see me, of course. And now I'd only bash his face in. This is all the proof we need, however. You should confront him. If he denies it, call me for the bashing. Their lies and betrayal shall be exposed, and their empire shall decay and fall before our righteous might. Windmills returns from the field. Gratitude is in short supply in Corinth these days, but I, for one, salute your courage. Ah, as I've said countless times now, we've sent the damn tribute. We can't always guarantee the caravan's safety. And if that vicious sorceress wants a war over this, we should give her one. Ah, of course not. The town wants to continue appeasing Medea, so I've tried. Even now, if we can recover the tribute, I'll send it. You can help. Talk to Captain Dupont. He'll give you the details. <laughs> All right, slow down, hero. Everyone's mad about this stolen tribute, and I bet you're here to volunteer to go after it, huh? But reclaiming those goods won't be a walk on the beach. The pirates that hit us are a tough crew. There are a few pirate dens in Windsworth, but it was the Buccaneer Creek bastards that took the tribute. Huh? Where it is, those pirates are lost now, so I'm not going after them, but... You're the hero, so you go. Tell me, I already heard that Weasel Dupont let the tribute get stolen by pirates. Never would have happened with the Iron Rose. Now we're all paying the price, aren't we? But honestly, Medea may be ruthless with those who cross her, but I don't think she'd do this. Unleash a curse on all of Windsward? Punish innocence? That's cruel, even for her. I'm not even sure she has such power. I don't know. But it can't hurt. If Medea is not responsible for the curse, we could use her help. But truth be told, I need a drink and about a week of sleep. I wouldn't make a good comrade in arms right now. I've tangled with the Buccaneer Creek pirates. They're crafty. If you're going alone, Always smart to set up a camp. But there's a good spot near the pirate's den. I'll be at the tavern. Strength be with you, soldier.
you seen Buccaneer Creek? There's a place we can get some proper plunder. If we play our cards right, we might liberate some of their stolen property and be called heroes for it. Ah, now it makes sense. I scouted the place and noticed they seem to have a boatload of supplies. Maybe that's your tribute. But hey, if you're going in there, grab some loot. We'll split the profit. Captain Dalty, I know we haven't talked to you eye to eye in the past, but I would invite you to join us in an endeavor that will be mutually advantageous. As I know you're aware, the town of Corinth has been paying tribute to the sorceress Medea for generations, an arrangement that I believe has run its course. I know you and your crew have sought to acquire the tribute in seasons past, but the Iron Rose has successfully deterred your efforts. This season, I would invite you to make the attempt once again, with the assurance that the Iron Rose will not be on hand. In fact, you may find God Captain DuPont is very quick to surrender when you confront him on the road. In exchange for your participation and your discretion, I will share the locations of the legendary verdant gemstones that we might share in their bounty. Yours in good faith and in confidence. Francis Turner, Speaker of the Winds. You realize the same thing I did. Didn't discourage you, but you should have been like I see by your expression you realize the same thing I did. Didn't want to discourage you, but your tribute was all gone. But tell me you at least found something of value. 
Well now, that's right, devious. Not sure if I'm disappointed or impressed with the bastard. Don't judge me. I never betray and steal from innocence. I just steal from those who deserve it. Speaking of which... Have I told you lately how much I like you? You got a hero's heart and a clever mind. And you're a trusty mate. We should partner up for a little more looting. Maybe even find something to help the town. I couldn't help but notice mentioning the speaker's note of some kind of precious gem. Structure. 